We all know using hard-coded strings across the code base is simply not a good idea. These can contain typos, and if we need to change the values later on, we have to search the entire code base, and we still may miss some. But sometimes the perfect alternative is not immediately obvious. Let's look at this example. Here we analyze data from an external system, which we represent using this data structure. Among many other fields, it also contains an error category, which can have the values TA and SW, but it can also be empty. And as the external system treats this field as free text, it can basically contain any string, which we would treat as an error in our code base. Now, how can we reflect these cases in our code base in a cleaner and less error prone way? One option would be to use string constants. This solves the problem of typos and also allows us to change the values later on easily. But still this design is not very explicit, as we are effectively still dealing with strings, which isn't an optimal design choice as I have already explained in these videos. The classic approach to express exclusive cases in c -sharp are enums. So we could create an enum representing the known two values TA and SW, and we can use the nullable type to express that no error category was provided. But in this design we cannot preserve any unknown string, which we still want to lock if we detect such a case. In f -sharp, we would use a discriminated union type to model such cases, which would also allow us to preserve the original string value in case of an unknown value. Unfortunately, c -sharp still does not support such types, but there is a small library which serves as a quite good alternative. And this library is called OneOff. You can find the link to this library in the description below the video. The OneOff library provides a generic type called OneOff, where each generic type parameter represents a case. In our example we use an enum to represent the known values and the type none, which is also provided by the OneOff library to represent the absence of a proper value explicitly. Finally, we use the error type, which is also provided by the OneOff library, to represent unknown strings. The error type also allows us to preserve the original string value. And this is how we use the new design. We simply replace the former if-else statements with the switch method and pass delegates to handle each case. Using the OneOff library, we can now model all possible cases much cleaner and less error-prone in our codebase. Which option would you choose? Let me know in the comments.